Manti Teo doc ooh, untold. Ooh. Unbelievable. I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> and I, I'm sure not a lot of people are saying this just out of fear or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool with anybody doing whatever makes them happy. Be you, live your best life. Uh, people walk around the back, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Everybody live your best life however you want to live. I believe that people have the right to do so. That woman, Renaya, I yes. believe. Yep. Worst fucking human on planet. Eh, now there's obviously serial killers and everything like that. I, I, I don't wanna sure. I don't wanna get in. You're talking one of the worst humans of all time. Manti Teo deserves a massive apology from everybody. Yeah, he does. Now at that time, two thousand whatever it was, nine, twelve, and I forget the exact years, Crazy. catfishing wasn't known by everybody because we weren't as much of a digital society dependent upon digitalness as we are now. Everybody kinda of understands it. You've been catfished by Amazon, you've been catfished <laughs> by a restaurant, you've been catfished by DoorDash, you've been catfished by humans, women have been catfished, men have been catfished. People lie all the fucking time on the internet now because you're only seeing a glimpse of people's life. But back then when Manti was going through, nobody knew what it was. No. Uh -huh. What an idiot. What a loser this guy. Hey, this guy fell in love with somebody you've seen. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Watching this doc, this untold, this dude was in love, love. Oh, yeah? He was so focused on football, so dialed in. This was like a perfect relationship for him. Long distance, only happened in his phone. He thought he was saving the world. Did you know I did not remember this? This disgusting, vile human being that is in this <laughs> thing and is not acting as if they are one of the worst... They faked their death a yeah, couple yeah. times. Yep. And Man a Manti couple thought times. he saved somebody's life. He thought he saved her life at one time. Faking dying. Yeah. Mm. On like uh, life support. Yeah. Mm. He saved your life on FaceTime? No. No, it wasn't FaceTime. No, it was a phone call. <laughs> how, the fuck, how do you save your life? Well, no. His Don't voice. Go sleep. Don't go sleep. His voice. Yeah, the D nurse button. told her. Listen, D, but I understand I didn't what you're going to say. I not watch the doc yet, but come. You ought to watch the doc. And you said it's a Don't say what you're going to say right now if you haven't watched the doc because Manti Teo, big time baby face. Yeah. You, you potentially start dancing with heel here if you say yeah. anything bad. Like, I'll rock with him. I loved him. I was obviously, on the, on the field as a player, I mean, he was a Heisman candidate as a, as a Gold, linebacker. He was way. unbelievable. Yeah. I can't, can't even imagine what he had to deal with going into the NFL with that type well. of... Shit. Well, I couldn't feel his fingers and his hands and his body for three years because the anxiety and stress he broke. This horrible human broke this guy. Uh -huh. He said, I'll take the jokes. I'll take the memes. I'll take everything. Mm -hmm. But I need to tell my story, you know, because if this has happened to anybody else, no, they're not. This guy was like, I think Manti Teo might be one of the mentally toughest guys of all time. For sure. Honestly. You could say that. I, honestly, one of the mentally. But also, there's a lot while you're watching it. Like, come on, dude. Come there's on. some red flags. Couple signs. Come Manti. on, dude. There's some red flags. He just wanted to love. People, hey, people do crazy things for love, man. Listen, I love Manti Teo. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> He was kind of a mark. Uh, <laughs> All right, listen, I, he, didn't, well, right, he didn't see the entire thing. Yeah, but to Nick's point, dog. there were a lot of people calling him Mark Teo on the internet last night, and that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't Nick. It was just some people. And there are situations, though, where you know he would ask people who he trusts, who he was Cousin. related to. Hey, Oos, he's hey, Oos. Yeah. Hey, Oos, you know Lene? Yeah, I've seen her around. Okay, cool. That's tough. What do you yeah, to do? Yeah, deep bad. As you will, and then Mark back there. I mean, the guy didn't deserve it at all. Uh, we got one-on-ones going on. Here we go. Manti, I want to let you know, we synced it. We're sorry you went through that. We probably made jokes at your expense. Hey. Only, the only thing I got out of that documentary that I was a little suspect about was he's more religious than we are. Way more. He asked God to give him a sign. Oh, no. Whoa. Wow, well, that's Whoa. what he said. Demon. That's what he said right there. He said uh, he was a lifelong USC fan. Yeah. Uh, no spoilers. This is early in the thing. Lifelong USC fan, living in Hawaii, USC 75, sunny every single prime of USC. If they were in the middle of their run, lifelong USC fan, was going to USC. Was oh, actually yeah. was going up to say he was going to USC before then. Prayed to God to give him a sign if he's making the right move. Runs in a guy named Ernie or something like that. Uh -huh. I forget who the Gary, person. Gary, the Gary, janitor. Gary yeah. the janitor. I don't know if it's janitor or somebody that was important to him. And say so go to USC. You just basically be another oos at USC. You go to Notre Dame, you'd be the first ever Manti Teo. And he said, That's God, give me a sign. Goes to fucking Notre Dame. Wasn't happy about it. No. Wow. Signed his letter of intent, like upset after he so signed. So he cried yeah. going to Notre Dame. And then, because God gave him a sign, which immediately I was like, All right, gonna be tough to take Manti serious here. Yes. Okay, gonna be tough to take Manti serious. Sure. But I respect people that are that yep. religious. Then as you go through the entire thing, it's like, He's at USC. It's a much different ball game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably doesn't happen. Lene lives in Cali. Yeah, they, they, the whole... Oh, I mean, yeah. maybe it might have happened, but 
There's a lot of in and out. I mean, it, it, I mean, it looked like it was the right decision for, but the dude was a Heisman finalist as Bingo. a linebacker. It yeah. worked so, out. Yeah, he said the first couple months were tough. Everybody struggles going to college. I yeah. think there's yeah. a little bit well, of well, sure. Brian Kelly's a huge asshole, so I'm sure that, that you know, played know. into it as oh, well. Oh yeah, was it, was he there when? I believe so. Okay. What's your so. problem? Well, I just assumed that Brian Kelly was a huge prick to him. He's What's your problem? Massive What's his prick deal? to everyone else, you know. So. Are you talking about his family? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Manti is part of his family. Well, he was. Well, different. Anyways, okay. you watch that and you'll feel terrible for Manti Teo. I honestly 100%. think that. Not the God thing because he decided that made yep. his decision or whatever. His family, too, was like, go to USC. His yeah. family was like, what are we doing? It was a full thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a full thing. They should have won it. Yeah, maybe not. They hey, that was supporting. like the first 10 minutes, too. They were trying to get you not to like Manti early. Uh -huh. Like, with that thing. Not that, by the way. How many episodes? Nothing wrong with that, but Manti thinking that God was reaching directly out to him whenever he gets, what, so many scrolls of prayers a day. I, I mean, yeah, it is. A lot of them. That is something to think about, but that big of a decision. He was number one linebacker in the country. Oh, one. yeah. Number one linebacker wow. in the country. The guy could have went wherever he wanted. Goes to Notre Dame. That's early. Then you keep watching through it. It's like, all right, I appreciate how disciplined this guy is yes. and his faith and everything like this. They were telling us that because they wanted us to know that's how, like, disciplined he is mm -hmm. with his religion and everything. Then you get through it, and it's like, this guy was fucked. This guy fucked. was. Fucked. He's asking people about her. They're signing off on it. Mm -hmm. There's numerous photos. Personalized photo. Shit. Hey, you know, like, I need you to hold today's newspaper and a fork, right? She got, it. got one. Lene's doing it. Yeah, like, from the got girl. Got it from the girl. Like, She's a piece of shit. Yeah. Legitimately, like, yes. terrible person. Manti. Uh, How many episodes did I got to binge? Two. This? Okay. Oh, it's like easy. an hour long each one. Yeah. Two yeah. hours. Two hours total. 100% worth a watch. Okay. And Manti deserves an apology from everybody. Uh, yeah. Did you Phil make it McGraw to the second appearance? episode? Yeah, Dr. Phil makes an appearance in this thing. Okay. What? Dr. Phil McGraw. Wow. Yeah. Doctor? Shregs worked for Fox News at the time. He made an He's appearance. Yeah. Brady Skip Quinn. Bayless was in there. Brady Quinn was in mm -hmm. there. A lot of people in there. We're going to try not to be in documentaries for the bad things. Yeah. Yes. It feels like a lot of these sports documentaries come out. People that do our job get shoved in there a lot and painted in a terrible image. Yeah. We need to remember that as we continue to talk about people.